Uh, so you get some. You're a person that says slide deck. Didn't you? Aren't you a person who say slide? Don't you say slide? There's deck? a lot of people that say slide deck. I'm not a slide deck guy. I, I just started that. I used to say I, slides. I call, them, I I call them the like, slides. Check out the slides. I think slide deck sounds cooler. It's like yeah, slide deck does sound very much though like I'm like I keep a Bluetooth thing in my ear twenty four. It makes it sound more important than it is. Like they're just slides to me. They are just slides. Thank you. And actually, for this one, <laughs> it is just slide. Slide. <laughs> So really no deck to speak of. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of a poster. Yeah, it really is more of a poster. Okay, poster so you're going to read through yeah, the nice deck that I passed deck. up. What's up? Nice poster deck. Thank you. You're going to read through the packet I passed out, and then uh, you're going to finish the Google form. After that, we're going to do our reading for 20 minutes uninterrupted, and then we're going to write for 15 minutes. Um Today I'm going to do that. I'll do that in this Hangouts today. Um, but again, this will probably change format by tomorrow. So we're testing the Google Stream. I'm also just seeing how this looks afterwards. So this is almost as much for me as it is for you all. So if you go through this packet, I'm going to encourage you to read it on your own. Mm. Um, nice font. What font is that? Thank you. This is, a, I believe this is Garamond with a little bit of Poppins mixed in. Yeah, Garamond is actually definitely one of the best fonts. Yeah, I'm very, um, uh, very much a fan of Garamond. Yeah, and actually, they found a guy like this 14 year old told the federal government, they're like, you need to stop using Times New Roman. If you use Garamond, you'll use 0.2% less ink on every page, which will save you $25 million a year in printing. They gave the money to the kid or no? No, I think they gave him like a like a ice cream cone or something. He should have got half. He should have got $12 million. Yeah. No. No, ten percent finder's fee. It's like ten percent finder's fee would be two point five million dollars. Do your math. Isn't right? Twenty five times ten percent. Yeah. Yeah, this is an English stream, so yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna do a little test really quick. Also, was I muted right there? Yes, you were. You were muted. Right. Okay. Okay. So, um, in this packet, uh, I took this from Mr. Kelly Gallagher. I'm gonna give a quick overview of it. Um, that you can read through it to get more details. But really, uh, this is this is a moment in history that uh, nobody who's alive today has lived through with any knowledge of that memory. Maybe you have a couple hundred two-year-olds kicking around from the Spanish influenza days. But this is something totally different. Right. So the one thing I want you to have... A, they didn't have computers back in the 1918 flu, so... No, back in the 1918 flu, they just had to go down in their cellar and eat all their potatoes they had stocked up. Yeah, instead of hanging out on Google Hangouts, you'd be churning butter. Yeah, with Mr. Buse and Jeremiah. And your name would actually probably be Jeremiah. Probably, probably be Jeremiah. <laughs> it would actually be Jeremiah. So um, what I want you all to do is uh, to capture that. So 15 minutes a day of daily the butter writing. churning, capture that. If you want to write a 15-minute journal entry about churning butter, uh, maybe you actually churn butter and you feel offended that we're making fun of you for churning butter, um, you can do that. Or you can uh, write about anything. You can capture how the virus has disrupted your school year, discuss how your daily life has been disrupted, share the effects it has on your friends and family, write reviews of movies, television shows, podcasts, video games, etc., um, or respond to any seed that you see about the uh, crisis. So when I say a seed, I give you all these kind of sources right here. However, uh, Mr. Vienna, are you on a actually Jeremiah? Excuse me. Are you on a what? Are you on the talking tick? What is it? Tick tick tocking? No, I don't have any social media because I'm a grumpy not, old. Man. I'm not talking to Mr. Vienna. I'm talking to Jeremiah. Oh, Jeremiah is definitely on it. Yeah. Okay. So. Have you seen any good memes about uh, the, about the coronavirus? Yeah, there's uh, kids dancing to music and, I don't know, the woo or whatever. Right. So that's a seed. And what I mean by a seed is that's something that I want you to just start writing and describing it. And then from there to just try to write for 10 to 15 minutes. Uh, see if you can fill up a page. Mm. Okay. I'm going to encourage you to do this by hand. Uh, 
but only a slight encouragement because doing this on docs is also fine. The only problem about doing it on the computer is it's so easy while you're writing on your computer to switch tabs and go back to TikTok. What is TikTok hamster? See, and look, I'm already distracted. 937 million views. That's almost an eighth of the world. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> so this this is a seed for me. This makes me think about how bored people are, but also how wonderful the internet is. It makes me think a lot of things. That's something to write about. I love that. Okay. So anyways, going back to this, um, I'm not going to grade this. Um, and also, if you don't want me to read what you write, I will not read what you write. Depending how long this goes on, we may spend some time creating sort of a compilation of material to share online. And let's say I want you to be creative, write however, uh, I don't even wanna say however feels best to you because I want you to challenge yourself, but write across genres, poetry, dialogue, description, um, write whatever, just try to write for 15 minutes. I'm gonna do this as well. The other thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna read every day for 20 minutes. Uh, a lot of you picked up books. A lot of you have books checked out for me already. The goal here, I'm not going to ask for a report or anything like that. I just want you to work on your reading stamina. So when I say read for 20 minutes, I mean read uninterrupted for 20 minutes. Make sure you find the time to read without distractions. I would rather you read without interruption for 10 minutes than read for 35 minutes with interruptions every three minutes. Find some quiet, undistracting space to work and to read. And I shouldn't even call it work, to read. Um, the only thing I ask is that you keep a chart of what book you read, uh, on what day and how long you spent reading it. I will also keep a chart of that. If you would like practice on your reading and writing skills, uh, I have unlimited options. I'll be posting some today. Help you with the RCT, help you with those sorts of things. Uh, reach out to me via email if you want to do that. Um, we're not gonna see each other for a while. You're potentially gonna be stuck in your house for a while. The only way people get through this is community. Let's create a little bit of community here. Okay. Thank you, Jeremiah. Um, also, your writing. I promise that's going to guarantee that 45-year-old you, when you're digging through your parents' stuff as they're moving into a new place, and you find your old high school papers, and you flip through your journal from the coronavirus days, that'll be a great joy to read. A relic. A relic. Yes, that is exactly right. Oh, we've got... We have a, great, we have somebody who is on the slides, wonderful. Okay, uh, Jasmine, if you send me an email, then you are entered into the, uh, what was the raffle? Did we not get past $100? I don't know, like a candy bar? I don't know, give them like a Gatorade or something. Yeah, Gatorade, or how about a Gatorade and a candy bar? Yeah, I like that. Do they have Gatorade bars? Yeah, they actually do. They're protein bars. They don't taste like <laughs> they don't taste like yellow or orange, but they're your, your choice of a Gatorade, a yeah. candy bar, or a Gatorade bar. <laughs> so the oh, we've got somebody else online as well. Okay, so hey! Next thing we're gonna do. Hey, there hey, we go. You. Party. Yeah. All right. Next thing you're gonna do if you didn't do this yesterday, uh, which both the people online did yesterday, uh, you're gonna do a, an English check-in. Okay. Um, I've got 41 of you responded. That's about that's a little bit more than everybody had yesterday. Thank you for filling this out. Nice um, thank you. It's a little bit long, but once you have this done, you're going to be set up. Uh, Dang, I if you have... that form, you don't want to see my forms, dude. What are they like? Ask someone in my seminar. My forms are too long. I, I believe it. Mm. I believe it. Um, if this is if this is a short form for you, then I'm glad I'm. In my own seminar. Uh, yeah. Ooh, burn. Ooh, burn. Mr. Deanna getting put on blast. Burn blast. Okay, so uh, this form, just fill it out. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, if you have questions about it, send me an email. It's just so I can know how to best uh, work with you. Okay, lastly, um, today... All I want you to do is read for 20 minutes uninterrupted and write for 15 minutes, one page of a notebook, something around there. If you need a prompt for today um, that is not in the notebook, uh, 
Mr. V, uh, Mr. Jeremiah, do you have a good idea for prompt? Uh, I, I think what would be really interesting to document is how people feel today. Because right now it feels like a Saturday. You woke up, you're feeling kind of lazy, like feels like a normal Saturday. I would want to describe how I'm feeling right now and then compare that to a week from now when we've all been quarantined for a week. And instead of feeling kind of lazy and calm, we might be feeling a little anxious or, you know, miss going out in the world. So I want to yeah. compare how I'm feeling now to how I'm feeling in a week. I think that'd be really interesting. Right. So I'm going to add, how do you feel today? And I'm going to add this little caveat at the bottom. Write down your feeling, what you're feeling. I don't want to worry about why at first. Just make sure you really fully get out what you're feeling. Yeah. Yeah, and then it'd be cool to to revisit that prompt in a week and see if we still feel the same. Yeah, you know, you know, you know, it's gonna be crazy. What people might not believe it, but a week or two from now, you might actually miss school. Yeah, you're gonna miss school. You're gonna miss having somewhere to go and people to talk to and places to walk around and seeing friends and yeah, I think I think we're gonna miss school in a couple of days here. So absolutely, it's coming. absolutely. So um, let's see if we have anybody who entered the uh, raffle. Um, nobody's entered the raffle yet. So again, if you're live streaming this, send me an email and you'll be entered for the raffle. All right. Uh, if you have questions about makeup work or anything like that, you can email me directly. Um, you may use this time to do retakes or makeup work of any sort. Um, and we'll discuss those when we get back. I will not be putting in any grades over this break. Okay. Well, I think that uh, I think that about uh, wraps up our session here today. Jeremiah, do you have any other questions? I don't want to do it today, but maybe in a future video, can we uh, can we get a tour of the things on your wall behind you? Yeah, yeah. I think would be. I mean, we're, I'm still trying to figure out what I think. I'm going to actually scrap the live stream idea yeah. and go towards and i think what i'm gonna do today is make an actual video okay well if, if there's a future live stream i'll join and i want to i want to ask about the crap in the background so maybe what i'll do is every day I'll the background. You... there's nothing back here you see my stuff yeah well because the thing that'd be nice is i don't want to pick up this computer but i could we'll figure this out picture we'll frames with no pictures yeah i mean this is this room is pretty uh I'll just give you a short. Oh, see, your your basement's way cooler than mine. Yeah, dude, this is, well, it's not a basement. It's HQ. Don't get well, it. Don't. HQ's working a lot better. It's than a mine. headquarters. I mean, what else makes it a headquarters is Milwaukee. <laughs> got, the, got the police on Milwaukee. All right. Now it's time for this live stream to end. Uh... uh and uh, if you have any questions, send an email. And thank you all for being here. I'm going to stop the recording, but I'm going to stay in the uh, live stream.